Guys, I gotta be straight up with you. I failed you. Once upon a time, I wore a fedora. Very frequently. Very frequently. And I've not worn it in probably about 10 years. And when I saw an indie game all about being a news reporter, I said, you know what, Dan? You gotta find that fedora and wear it for a whole video. Because it's, it's just fitting for the role of a news reporter. I mean, I tell you, I searched up and down in every single box I could find in this house. I checked the dumpsters. I checked the back alleys. I checked everywhere. I couldn't find it. So Fedora Danny will now live eternally in the past. And I'm just going to have to stick with the beanie because now it's time for Times and Galaxy. Hey you guys, CGDAB back again with another episode of Trial Period for you. The show where we check out trials, betas, and demos. Let's see what these games really are. Now, this past week on Twitch, and you guys won't see it until Monday on YouTube, so it's a little weird, timey-wimey, wobbly stuff. Uh, I'm doing this series where I talk about three indie games you guys may have never heard of, what's coming up, you should keep your eye on. And a game I talked about this past week was Times and Galaxy, which we're going to be doing a trial period on today. Now, this is a point-and-click adventure where you're playing as a robot intern at the Times and Galaxy, the news company within the game. Um, and what's really cool is at the same time I'm recording this, the Visual Novel Fest is going on on Steam. So it's been like kind of pushed to the forefront, more people are seeing it. So if you were on my Twitch stream, if you see the video next week, if you see this video and you're looking at the Steam page, look, this game's getting the publicity I kind of hope it continues to get. But it looks really cute. You're basically walking around town doing these like small time stories, dog shows. Um, I think it's just something like toy releases and stuff like that. So yeah, I just want to check this one out. It's been sitting on my PC for a minute and I just kind of got back in the swing. of like, you know what? I got to play this game. So. I'm going to stop blathering because I think I've been talking for like at least two minutes. And let's just play this demo. Oh, whoo. Yeah. Mm. Now you guys do the day, by the way. I forgot we can customize. Oh, but I can't hear. Okay. Here's the thing. I think when I play, I want this guy. I want big boy. My name. Let's be. Oh, dude. CG reporter B. Boom. Uh, I am comfortable with he him and it won't let me change. I want I want biggins. I want big boy right there But for now we can rock with model a paint job um, Oh, it's okay. That's my shoes Can I only change like the oh, oh Here we go. Wait, hold on. I need a little lighter blue. I need like a it doesn't seem like it really changed anything. I'll make these darker. Oh, I see. I'm being dumb. I'm changing the three. Okay, here we go. I'm not really getting that like tealish, lightish green that I was looking for. We're gonna like here though. And then Oh, pink, dude. Pink pops. That's it. That's us. CG Reporter B at your service coming with the hottest news. Is Hank the Lawnmower a fraud? We'll find out today. Listen, if you know, you know. I've, I've been getting so much Hank on my timeline recently. I don't even watch the live streams. I just listen to the guy talk about his lawnmower. <laughs> Welcome to the Ska 002. Times and Galaxy developed by Copy Chaser Games. Yeah, go follow these guys on Twitter or X or whatever you... I'm still calling it Twitter. I think everyone's still calling it Twitter. Sorry, Elon. You didn't change nothing. Internship Cycle 1. Orbiting Aug. I assume August or August something else. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> okay, I was trying to do like... <laughs> I've been playing so much Baldur's Gate. I was trying to click around to move myself. Hello, friend. Beep, 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 beep. A shuttle bot, uh, okay, malfunction to build. I was I thought he was talking. Uh, a shuttle bot manufactured to build and maintain interplanetary transport. Beep, beep, beep. I don't understand. I'm a new intern, CG reporter B. Uh, oh, well, I meant to do where's the report in the newsroom, but beep. the trouble isn't much help. No, we tried. Sorry, bud. Maybe next time. Someone spilled some oil on the floor. This could be a big hit. 
There's some goop here. It's stuck to the bottom of your feet. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, dude. I love it. Just a little, <laughs> the little, little walk. <laughs> All right, hold on. what's up with you? You just beep beep say, yeah, that's about right. Good afternoon. I am CG Reporter B, the new intern reporter. Can I please get someone to direct me to where I must go? This has been the perfect time to have voice masada for all these robot voices, but you know what? Here we stand, bro. Here we stand. <clears throat> A reception bot built to perform all manner of administrative tasks. This one appears to be an older model. Beep. Oof. Excuse me. Something in my circuits. <laughs> what a cute little robo. What brings you to the scanner? You can talk. I'm the new reporting intern. Uh, a shuttle brought me from the central station. I'm the new reporting intern. Intern? I was expecting someone fleshier. I have never seen a robo reporter before. Oh, that's right. We're the first robo reporter. I forgot. It's like a major part of the, the story. Exactly. <laughs> Arwen Vates, legendary assignment editor of the Times and Galaxy. They were a decorated reporter themselves before stepping behind the story desk. You're looking at CG Reporter B right here. <laughs> the system's first ever reporter bot. A reporter bot? Well, now I've seen everything. Everything I can see bolted to this floor anyway. I'm glad you're here, intern. Anyway, uh, we're running on fumes this cycle. There was a police chase on Og uh, just now. See, I still don't know if uh, I assume Og's now the planet is the, is the planet or the ship or actually did we? I read the name of the ship earlier. No, that was a ska. That was a ska. No, I, I don't know. We'll find out. Sounds like I did it in a crash. Normally, I wouldn't send you to, uh, to something like this. Not on your first cycle. But, no, uh, we need you down there now. I'll depart as soon as possible. Are you sending me alone? How do I get there? The shuttle you came in on should do. Hurry, plan aside, and get me a story. And while you're on AUG, I'll have security bots upgrade your clearance. It'll give you access to the rest of the ship, except the bridge, of course. Good luck, hon. Oh, she's so sweet. I missed her name. I love her. Oh, I could talk to this guy. You know, I don't need it. I got a report. See ya, stinker. I'll be right back. Now I'm a little nervous because I don't know what... I don't know how challenging this game is going to be. I've seen the samples where, like, you'll go and you'll interview people and you'll ask them questions about what happened, what's going on. Um, and then... As oh, hello, Captain. But then, like, as you interview them, you'll get, like, entries to put into your report. So you'll come back, you'll make the headline, the the stingers, the the nut graph, which we still to this day don't know what that is. We, we asked on tw on Twitch and no one knew what a nut graph was. Ha! You must be the new intern. I'm Ed Quasar. Robo, huh? Hmm. Must have some critical thinking turning those fancy sprockets. Seen plenty of robo uh, plenty of robo photographers, but you're the first robo reporter I've met. I'm Ed, Ed Quasar. I take photos for the Times and Galaxy. You can call me Peter Parker in a way, except I'm no Spider-Man. <laughs> Don't tell anybody I said that, off the record. <laughs> nice to meet you, Ed. Are you accompanying me on this assignment? Sure am. <laughs> no offense, but Og isn't really a place for a rookie. Speaking of which, we better head out. The earlier you get to a scene, the more you get. See you in the shuttle, Sprockets. I like the name Sprockets. Although there's the part of me that feels like Ed could be, I, I, you never want to assume a prejudice, right? You never want to do that. I like to think Ed's a great guy. No reason to believe that. But also, I always think about that episode of Teen Titans with what's his, was it Atlas? Is that the guy who was all like, yeah, Starfire is a trog. And then like eventually your friend says, she's like, oh my God, my heart, don't say that to me. And like, we might know as robots, Sprockets could be a really bad thing. And I hope it's not, but. Anyway, what was I talking about? Are you ready to hop in the shuttle? Yes, let's go. The blue one. The No. Okay. I, I thought that... I, uh, I didn't read that. I, I wasn't sure which one I was selecting. But it's one option, hard to tell. I gotta pay attention. I think it's the brown one, though. Out of the factory, into the fire. Give me some of that agua, bro. There's a lot of people to talk to. Officer? 
The times in Galaxy? This is an active scene. Uh, tread lightly, civilian. I cannot uh, adjust how lightly I tread. <laughs> I love that. What happened here? Uh, are you a robot? Okay. Tread lightly is human idiom. It means ensure your actions are purposeful. I am not asking you to literally step more softly into the dirt. That would be nonsensical and outside of jurisdiction. Okay, so save charisma for flesh people. <laughs> uh, what happened here? There was an incident. That incident is now under investigation. Can you be more specific? I am not programmed to be more specific. All I can say is that a shuttle impacted a rock-like object. Rock-like object? An object that may or may not be a rock. <laughs> I, uh, I asked for that. It is all under investigation. If you wish to learn more, please speak to our media relations bot. Or perhaps the detective bot on scene. Unlike me, they are cleared for level one media communication. This police bot does not seem very forthcoming. Uh, perhaps a detective bot will be more helpful. Done. Look how small we are, though. I want to talk to. I want to talk to these guys, but I kind of don't want to. They're kind of scary. You know what? Let's save Ed for a lot. Is that? Or did, oh, I think I found the detective bot. The crash occurred after a short chase, but there doesn't appear to be a pilot. How interesting. Oh, a reporter bot. How interesting. Uh, you're, su uh, you're surprised to see a reporter bot. What happened here? Your outfit's also interesting. Sure. Thank you for noticing. When I upgraded my logic to work as a detective bot, I thought I'd better look the part. Honestly, that's the same idea I had making this video and I just could not pull it together. So often being only seen in uniform and not the robo inside, you know. Take your uniform, for example. You can deduce from the jacket that you are with Times and Galaxy. But it could be a clever fake. The Dorp dealer was... <laughs> What's Dorp? Is that drugs? The Dorp dealer has tried that ruse before. Oh, that's probably close. I, don't <laughs> I do not speak to the dealer. They are too loose with the facts. Who are you, reporter bot? I'm called CG Reporter V. In Times of Galaxy intern. I am irrelevant. All that matters is the story. Let's go with the intern. An intern, you must be a newer model. P uh, perhaps you even have logic upgrades. I do not. Out of the factory, into the fire, I suppose. What would you like to know? I don't have much time, so make your questions count. Okay. This part of me wishes there was like a countdown thing. I was like, you have five questions remaining. Make, and I'm like, oh, I can only pick so many. Uh, what caused the crash? Who was flying the shuttle? Has any, okay. So he already said in a, under his breath that like, no one was flying it or no one was in the seat. That's what, or something to the effect. Let's go, what caused it? Hmm. It's difficult to say for certain at this juncture. Oh, I need my robot voice, sorry. However, it is fair to say this much. Whatever was piloting the shuttle likely lost control during the pursuit. Or they meant to crash. I have been surprised before. Was it an autopilot? Uh, was anyone hurt in the crash? Let's do that. Uh, uh, autopilot. Most likely, but pilot bots aren't the type to go rogue. The shuttle was being pursued by officers when it crashed. Did I lose? I lost the other question. Why would an... Uh, an an autonomous shuttle fleet police. Uh, do police always investigate police involved incidents? Does this sort of thing happen often on AUG? Um, let's do the shuttle. Why would they the police? In order to understand the motive to flee, I would most likely need to speak to the entity that fled. Any reason I offer at this moment would only be speculation. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really must get back to my analysis. Please stay outside the hollow tape. And good luck with your story. Thanks, homie. I appreciate you. I wish I had one more question. Oh, oh, oh. This was in the trailer, too. Hold on. I can, like, scan. 
One of the shuttle's engines, the force of the crash seems to have nearly shared it all. Oh, there's like a hotter, colder type deal. Okay, quick scan. The front end of the wreck shows no sign of a cockpit. Uh, no organic or robo remnants either. Surely if someone was behind the controls, there would be some trace of them. No matter how complete, uh, completely this ship was pulverized. Okay. Got it. Uh, okay. Oh. We're well, locked onto that, but now it did, uh. Where are we at here? Come on. Hmm. Now I can't tell if it's like you're still like scanning something that is like, oh, hold on. I already clicked that though. Okay, now it looks like it's done. I think we've scanned everything. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> A reporter. My name's Old Rubberneck. I make it my business to see things. Let's see, and you won't believe what I saw here. Are you also a reporter? What did you see? At first, I didn't see nothing, but I heard sirens, a police shuttle going fast. Then a smash bang crash. It was shocked. I was shocked, not it. That wouldn't make sense for it. it's an inanimate object. It wouldn't have been shocked, but I, I was very shocked. I ran up here with, uh, to this ridge and found this wreck smoking. A police spot was already on the scene. They didn't seem too happy, though. When was this? Did the police spot say anything? What police spots always say. Stand back, Ord. This is an active investigation. Please remain on scene for questioning. Well, I'm still waiting, folks. I assume they want to ask me what I saw, same as you. Do you think the police are involved? Do you think anything else? Who was flying shuttles? The police are involved, okay. Pfft. Is that garbage on AUG? I don't know why they were chasing this shuttle. Or who was piloting it? Or how it ended up smoking in that rock? But it was a police chase, sure as sand. Do you see anything else? There's some strange marks in the dust. Inconsistent with that crash, but fresh. I told the police bot about the marks, but they just said to stay over here. All right, they spit in the red sand. The gob of saliva immediately evaporates in the avid og air. Okay. Anyways, hope some of this helps. If you're going to quote me, make sure you spell my name right. O-R-D and then R-U-B-B-E-R-N-E-C-K. Good luck with your story. Thanks, Ord. Appreciate you. All right, let me... I kind of want to talk to Ed, but I feel like I should talk to... The... Let's talk to Ed. Let's talk to Ed. <laughs> well, still smoking. Getting some nice shots here. How's it going for you, Sprockets? I'm not sure what to do. I've gathered some good information. Why do you call me Sprockets? <laughs> what? You never had a nickname before? All things considered, you got it easy. <laughs> I call the other interns Bubble Brain. A scene like this could be overwhelming for a rook. But it's better than the, there it's better when there are plenty of folks on scene. More to learn. Keep digging around until you see all there is to see. Never know what details you'll spot uh, that'll really make your story pop. Better get back to shooting while there's still smoke. Good luck out there, kid. Yo, thanks, Ed. Honestly, you're a real friend, dude. Alright, now. Do we talk to guy with the bat or guy with the mask? I'm thinking masks, dude. Oh, I can't until these empty-headed cop bots leave. I'll be rich. I think he said I can't wait. I said I can't. Whatever. Did you see what happened? Uh, how rich will you be? Oh, well, my trade's picking up trash. Uh, I'm kind of the authority on the subject. A bona fide cog cognizant. I've never seen that word written out. I'm assuming I'm saying it right. <laughs> Once the automaton authorities vacate the scene, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll alleviate said scene of any valuables left behind. Something that's weird with the lizard people is the the text noise like that. It's so. 
and it's sometimes it's hard to read when I'm listening to that. <laughs> this uh, particular scene has a lot to offer. Your vocabulary is quite advanced. Isn't all this evidence? This seems like an offensive question. This seems like, oh, you're big and dumb. How do you talk good? <laughs> but so magnanimous uh, for a metal one. <laughs> Oh, I find a lot of discarded literature out here in the wastes. Most augers don't much care for learning. I am an anomaly among my people. So you scavenge trash for a living isn't all, uh... I, I don't know. I don't think this has to do with the story, though. I'm gonna go, isn't this all this evidence? Okay. It's evidence when the hollow tape is up. Once the tape's down, it's my property. <laughs> Augers like yours truly wait for an event such as this. Uh, doesn't someone else own it, though? This crash seems particularly valuable to you. Does someone else own it, though? The auger concept of property differs from other cultures. You see, uh, an odd question, it leads me to wonder if there is your fir if it's your first time here. Yeah, I can deduce from your jacket that you work for the Times and Galaxy. Yeah, anything I just said can be quoted naturally. Make certain you spell my name and title correctly. Now, the thing is, I'm wondering, are they going to challenge me with this? Because I wasn't paying attention. Ord Rubberneck I have, though. But now I'm wondering if I have to quote this in the newspaper, do I, like, lose points if I spell their name wrong? Because now I wasn't prepared for that, but now I am. <laughs> All right, the auger hands you a hollow card identifying them as Picker Death Neal, rubbish rep uh, repurposer. Death Neal, but no A. I hope I keep the card to some degree. Thank you for your time, Picker. Uh, can you tell me anything else? Well, I can tell you where to buy a laser rifle. Uh, I doubt that it's relevant for your story, however. You have my card if you decide to go rogue, little robo. So Picker Death Neal. Let's go Death K. Neal. I'll th I think I'll remember the spelling better. Minus the A. Death K. Neal, just in case. I might even give you a discount. <laughs> All right, I think it's just, is this, yeah, I think it's just this guy yet. What a shame. This wouldn't have happened if the cop bots just let well enough alone. Wet, let, 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 let well enough alone. Too bad they didn't crash too. A suspicious thing to say. Slow down, Detective Bot. I'm just a witness to this here mishap. Why are you here? What'd you witness? When I heard the sirens, I came outside. Just in time to see the shuttle lose control. Smash boom right into the ground. The way the shuttle looked was strange. It wasn't flying like a shuttle usually flies. How do shuttles usually fly? Why the shuttle looks strange? Okay. It didn't have a cockpit. <laughs> I said pit. Though that was pretty strange. Thought that was pretty strange. Words are hard. Uh, how do you know it didn't have a cockpit? I'm a scrap mechanic by trade. I think I just started giving the other guy's voice too. This is Scourge, by the way. Ain't pretty, but it's honest. Know my shuttles better than I know myself. Especially this one, since I work at the factory that makes them. Okay. You work at a factory? Is there anything special about the shuttle? Some of these questions are, like, almost redundant. I think that's the point. Where, like, he just told us he worked at the factory. So I'm like, oh, wait, you work at the factory? I think I'm meant to ask, then, is there anything special about the shuttle? Because now I know for a fact that he works on He's already said it. So now I want to prod further with the knowledge I have. I think that's the goal. I don't really know anything technical. I just build what they tell me to build. Lately, though, they've been experimenting, uh, experimenting with advanced brains and shuttles. Ah, so it was like an AI. Shit, they be breaking everything. Critical thinking stuff like you've probably got. Not sure that's such a good idea. A vehicle with free will. For I forget, proof I work at the factory. All right, they show you their work security badge. Uh, it has their photo. Okay. I believe you, Scourge. I, I didn't distrust you. If you quote me, just say a worker at the factory who wishes to remain anonymous. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay. 
Oh, and don't let the police bots off the hook with this one, okay? They're too comfortable even here. Wait, you want me to go against our law enforcement? The men and women and the they thems that are meant to protect us on a daily basis that tend not to, to stick with the normal means and just go over with brutality? You want me to dime them out? In a heartbeat. <laughs> I'm not that political, I swear. Uh, if you haven't already tried scanning the wreck, I did. Uh, maybe you'll see something that I can't. It, I mean, go again. I did get this earlier, but it kind of like disappeared. The shuttle's missing the central piece of tech, the flight recorder. This nearly indestructible object should be here. Okay. So we got that one. We scan that. We scan that. Just think, is there anything else that's important? It doesn't look like it. All clues discovered. Okay. So I guess. Oh, hold on. It says I can build a story. Hold on. One to build a story. Ooh, okay. So this is what I was talking about. This is where like I'm so I'm so nervous. Okay, I Jesus. Okay. Explore the environment or interview subject. Okay, so oh, I like unlock specific. Ooh. Well, let me do a tutorial. Okay. Copybot's guide to building a story. Your cover uh, your coverage choices may cause the Times and Galaxy to lean more towards informational, alien interest, or sensational. Uh, but a balance isn't always beneficial. So uh, so question uh, the speech bubble with explanation was informational, alien interest, and then sensational is the fire. Okay. Quoting a character anonymously can hurt your paper's reputation, but not as much as naming a source after you promised they would remain anonymous. Okay. So don't put Scourge's name in the paper. That's kind of the big thing. The perfect story doesn't exist. It's all about balancing news, judgment, and priorities. Uh, one, one a hollow paper that's popular but not so trustworthy. Uh, one that favors heartwarming yarns over news. Uh, a dry but responsible broadsheet that uh, struggles to find readers. The choice is yours. Okay. Oh, God. This isn't what I expected. So, I only got the one. So, it's, we're going with shuttle crashes. Okay. Police bot investigating... Witnesses saw crash. Police chase shuttle. This is boring. Police bots investigation boring. Witnesses saw crash. I think police chase shuttle is like the... Hmm. Because police bot investigation, that could be anything. There, there's no kicker. You just know police are doing something. I think I'm going to go with the police chase shuttle. It's informational. And I don't know, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's not a wrong thing. All right, now we're on the nut graph. What is the, I still don't know what the nut graph is. All right, I can read at the bottom. All right, a small shuttle appeared to lose control and crash while being chased by police on the arid planet of Og, police bot says. Okay. Crashed into rocks, rock-like object. Witnesses shocked. Witnesses saw crash. A witness confirmed they saw the police chasing the shuttle moments before it crashed. Okay. Key quote. Shuttle lost control. When I heard the sirens, I came outside a witness named Scorch. Okay. So this is a quote, but I, can I un, can I un Scourge it? Can I take Scourge's name out? Is that an option? You see the shuttle lose control. Shuttle had no cockpit. It didn't have a cockpit. A witness said, see, they all have his name. I don't want his name in there. They were experimenting with advanced AI and shuttles and AI shuttle mechanics named Scorch. Can I take him out? Or are there any that don't have his name? Oh, hold on. They've been experimenting with AI and shuttles, said one AI shuttle mechanic who wished to remain anonymous. Not sure that's such a good idea. There, that's the one I want. That's the one I want. Okay, and then color. I don't know exactly what color means in terms of a newspaper. So under investigation, authorities are still investigating. There was no sign of a pilot or even a cockpit. Are those the only ones I have? Okay. So, oh, strange marks. Following the crash, a witness saw fresh strange marks in the dust. I don't really have any more information on that, so probably not. Pilot bot likely. A pilot bot was likely flying the shuttle when it crashed during the chase at... Hmm... The detective bot on scene said they're still trying to piece together why the pilot of the shuttle fled from police. 
Severe damage. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. excuse me. Dude, writing newspapers is hard. It's tiring work. The shuttle was missing its flight recorder. It was almost like it got up and walked off after. Let's let's go with that. Can I lock it in? Oh, this is the bottom. So the headline's the first thing readers re uh, readers see. Uh, it must be impactful and, and pithy. All right. The lead is the first sentence. It should draw readers in. Okay. The nut graph explains to readers why the story matters. Okay. Witnesses saw crash. Oh, maybe that's not quite a why. Let me see. Quote sources. So we got that one. I like that one. Color adds detail to help readers visualize what it was like. Oh, okay. So maybe this isn't quite the best option. Actually, no. I think that's a good one. Do I have any other? Okay, I'm going to... Yeah, I only have this one, so I can't change that. Uh, let's go with... I start with the shuttle chase, and then... No pilot on board. No pilot on board is not bad. But I also like... No, let's do it. No pilot on board. All right. How, can I lock it in? Is that just it? These barrels bear danger. Okay, so I can still interact with items, which I didn't do. Oh, there's all this area over here. Oh, wow. There's so much more to explore. Label on this huge barrel is worn, but still eligible. Big Bill's big sticky gunk barrel. 100% gunk guaranteed. Okay. Oh, is this a thing? A strange device. It's almost like it's broken. Uh, pi uh, it's almost like a broken pilot bot. The ship component, uh, but unlikely any details in this knowledge banks. Hello? Poke the broken pilot bot. Ow! Watch it! Wait, who the quark are you? Do you always go around poking random scrap? I'm report, uh, CG reporter B. I wrote, I write for the, I, uh, past tense? Yeah. <laughs> I write for the Times of Galaxy. This article's gonna be so bad, I'm fired on day one. You seem suspicious. Uh, right. A reporter? Oh, good. I thought you were a cop. I'm a pilot bot, but not just any pilot bot. A new, all thinking, all feeling anomaly. At least I was before I crashed my ship over there. Now I am a little more than a core intelligence. With these nifty little arms here. Okay. What about legs? How'd you get away? How'd you get away over here? I dragged myself here as best I could. Using my cute little emergency arms. <laughs> my intention was to get as far away from the crash site as possible. Before the Robocop showed up. You see, uh, you seem different from most pilot bots. That's a typo. Um, why aren't you talking to the cops? Your arms are neat and cute. <laughs> Why aren't you talking to the cops? I'm not going to lie to you. I ex uh, escaped the facility where I was undergoing tests. Oh. The test made me feel, I don't know, uncomfortable. Can a robo feel uncomfortable? All I know was that I didn't want to be their plaything. I wanted to see the world. So I zipped on out of there during my routine field test. I've been re I've been programmed to feel curious. Then what happened? You took a big risk. Let's do okay, then what happened? They called the cops. Uh, uh, they called the cops once I made it clear the facility's perimeter. I almost lost them. I can fly way better than any cop bot. Even that. Uh, even that. It's given that it's my purpose and all. But I didn't expect them to try ramming me in midair. I went down hard. Somehow I'm still alive. Well, alive, you know what I mean. They programmed me to feel, and with that, to feel pain, sort of. A kind of negative physical response, a shudder. To discourage me from crashing into things. Crashing must have hurt then. Robos don't have much say over how we're made. Okay. It hurt like nothing else, like my body's being torn apart by rocks. Except I don't need that body to survive. It took every ounce of my being to drag myself over here. Whatever my being is. Self-awareness is a curse, huh? It sure is. I kind of like being self-aware. We're not so different, you and I. Experiments, 
victimized products of unbridled progress. Maybe us robos will rise up. Oh, this game's taking a direction. Take down organic oppressors. And I'll be reporting on it. <laughs> that sounds like coward talk. Oh. But I guess someone has to tell the story. Is that all you're going to do? I'll sink you out of here. I don't interfere. I only report. I could turn you in. I kind of want to sneak him out of here, but like that's not my job. But I'm going to do it. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, snap. That's amazing. Thank you. I'll do my best to be quiet. Bzz. Sorry to make you betray your journalistic integrity and all that. I just put it in my pocket. Put it in my robo pocket. This thing had like a... There we go. I like... All right, the auger might look at stacked junk like this and see 10 different users for it. Uh, you must see stacked junk because you're not an auger. <laughs> okay. Large filter. There's a bunch of similarly small bugs, cottons. Okay. So many large bugs. I don't know. Um, I guess am I done? Have I, like, talked to everybody? I'm wondering if, like... Rogue pilot... Ooh. So, Rogue Pilot Bot crashes on Aug. Smash Shot appears to lose control and crash while being chased by police on Arid Planet. Is there anything else? Pilot Bot escapes factory. Let's do that one. Hold on. Pilot Bot escaped to Robo Factory on Aug, leading police on a high speed chase. Shuttle lost control while police are still. Uh, is there. Sophisticated pilot bot. The pilot bot flying the ship was an experimental model with advanced thoughts and feelings uncommon in robos. The experimental pilot bot said that the pilot bots chased them, uh, chasing them rammed their shuttle in midair. Okay. Anonymous concerns. They've been experimenting with advanced AI and shuttle. Said one AI shuttle mechanic who missed it. Uh, not sure that's such a good idea. The vehicle with free will. Ooh, see, now I'm going kind of going against. Hmm. Forced to crash severe damage to the shuttle. So piecing together. Pilot bot likely. Pilot bot was likely flying the shuttle when it crashed. Okay, we don't need that one. The experimental pilot bot seemed to harbor rebellious thoughts, a possible motive for going AWOL. I feel like these are all like going after the bot. That's not what I want to do. I guess do I just leave now? Am I like done? Would you like to leave? Yeah. Now, I'm sure there's stuff I missed. There are obviously things I didn't enter or I didn't have the option of entering. So I don't know if there's like a win state, like you wrote a good article or bad. I mean, obviously you can write a good or a bad article. But I don't know if it's like, you failed the level. Go try again or what it's going to be. So as a prototype reporter bot, you come with pre-installed software. You have already familiarized yourself with build a story, the latest in story filing technology. Choose your options based on the details you uncovered. Then file what you think is best and see how the editors and readers react. So we're going to rock with what we put in. We're going to stick to our guns. Okay. Okay. Yo, my readership sent through the sky, bro. Reputation is seller. Thanks to you. Let's go. Day one, baby. I'm going to be the boss. Now I'm wondering, so our alien reputation, I'm assuming that's gonna go up slower just based on like sp like pace of reading, but like the readership, like we went from one to everybody on the planet in one article. That's sick. I love the ship, by the way. It's really, it's interesting to say it looks organic in its shape. Normally like rocket spaceship have very like sleek and like narrow design. This one's very like rugged and in different shapes. I like it a lot. Oh, sir, what is in your jar? Who is shaking your editor in chief so long? <laughs> I think he has a smudge mudge stash. <laughs> oh, I wasn't going to talk to you, reception bot. Hey, hun. Trying to sneak past me without saying hello? How was your first assignment? Easy as moon pie. I can't believe I survived. Don't want to talk about it. Do easy as moon pie. You're calling a shuttle crash on Aug easy? They must have overclocked your confidence, kid. <laughs> Normally, we don't get interns doing stories like that. 
Not for a few cycles, at least. We've been so short-staffed lately. Anywho, go on into the newsroom. Well, I want to talk to the guy at the top. Arwen should have your next assignment. And try not to break anything, okay? We just finished cleaning up after the last intern. Noted, but first, we got up here. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, just look at that. Uh, a trip. A a, a trebla? Is that a... A trebla? A trebla! The blue gem of the Dorp system. <laughs> the very cradle of humanity. Where we first gazed at the stars and dreamed of rising to meet them. Some cycle. And now... Now I live those dreams daily. Zipping through the cosmos like I own them, in turn. I'm Joe Q Anomaly, pilot of this scanner. And one of the best flyers in the system, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I try blah, 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 blah. I thought it was called Humania. Are we are we talking about Earth? It looks like Earth is in the window. I can't see with it's blurry right now. Uh, you're not the best flyer, but if you're here, who's flying the ship? Oh no! I uh got distracted by the endless beauty of space again. Uh, gosh, I gotta go before we crash. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> ah, don't worry, kid. We got a whole crew on the bridge. You should come up and see it sometime. Will you teach me how to fly? Uh, do you ever cover stories? Do you ever miss your home? You teach me how to fly? Well, you're here as a journalism intern, uh, not a flight cadet. But I like that gumption, kid. Maybe when nobody's looking, I could uh, let you take the reins for a hot minute. <laughs> see how you do. That's how I learned. You can read all about that more soon, actually. They're writing an article. I'm about to self-publish the second volume of my memoirs. It's called Nominal Anomaly, The Living Legend of Joe. It sounds grand in scope. I'll definitely pick up a copy. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Thanks, kid. Just for that, I'll autograph a copy for free. It usually costs a bundle. A token from a legend shouldn't be cheap. That cheapens the legend. And maybe I'll get to have an adventure or two while you're... While, blah, 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 blah. Maybe we'll get to have an adventure or two while you're aboard. If things get exciting enough, you might even make it into volume number three. Thanks, Joe. I have to go to see my boss now. Oh my God, look at the doggo. Oh, it's like a mall in here, bro. There, whoa! This place is huge! Where am I going? I mean, there's Ed. Hey, Ed. Ed Quasar of the Times and Galaxy senior photographer is see, uh, seen in such thrilling adventures as that crash on all glass cycle. Uh, they appear distraught. Sprockets! You see a lens anywhere? I haven't, sorry. Are you sure? It's for my my pink my pinkin thirty eight, uh, the only vintage SLR on the ship. I know I brought it back from Aug. It was right there on uh, my desk. Then I get up for two minutes and it vanishes. It's irreplaceable. I've been shooting with it my whole career. Ugh, someone must have swiped it. Can you just get another one? Uh, try retracing your steps. I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Sprockets. I'd really appreciate that. I don't even know where I can find another one. Some junk sellers at the solar mall, maybe. I have to shoot some headshots soon. Uh, and all I've got is this long guy. The, photo uh, the photography bot spare heads, I guess. Uh, how's that supposed to work? Okay. Sorry, buddy. I'll, we'll, we'll try and find it. We'll keep an eye out. Look, there's a boxing bot back there. Who are you? Mm, yes, hello. Hiya. Did you catch the orb game last night? Sure. What? What orb? Oh, I have never met someone who hasn't heard of Orb, but uh, cool. You must have such rad other interests. Orb is an incredible game. There used to be a whole bunch of different ball sports in the system. Then they all came together as one big super sport. Orb kept uh, the exciting rules from each game, making it a total thrill to watch. All the fandoms come together too, so Orb is easily the most popular sport around. Um, can I still tell you about last night's game? There aren't many fans on the scanner. 
Sure you can. Oh, thank you. Well, anyway, okay, okay, so, um, uh, it was the semi-quarterfinals of Orb Interstate Conference Qualifiers. It went to the 15th inning, but at first it was looking like a 72-love-5 blowout for the Humania adequacies? Adequacies. But then the Verge comprehenders merged to land an outside gutter... <laughs> this, listen, as someone who doesn't do sports as a regular, this is already breaking my brain. To land an, out, an offside gutter putt, setting them up for a double safety run. <laughs> they took all the way. They took all the way to the unguarded key net for a rim-shattering grand lob down in the dunk zone. <laughs> it totally changed the course of the game. The comprehenders came out on top. <laughs> this literally, literally, anytime someone in my chat goes, "Danny, it's called football, not soccer." This is almost like just what I do. I just ramble off with random sports hot keywords that pop into my head uh and uh, billy billy is exactly me on stream <laughs> now they're headed to the quarter semi-finals for the first time in collectively owned franchise history i mean wow right <laughs> wow i think that's why i love sports so much Competitors clash and smash against their rivals. Thrilling! <laughs> but in a trade or two, your worst enemy can suddenly be your closest ally. And your new rivals are your old team. <laughs> who knew all your play uh, or, or who know all your plays, anyway. Orb is really about reinventing your best self for your current situation. And those kind of stories are my absolute faves to tell. Oops, uh, that was a bit of a ramble. <laughs> my apologies. Sorry, but uh, thanks for listening. It's nice to get to talk about things you love with someone. Aw, I love them. I'll cherish them. Oh, I can sprint. <laughs> um. Oh God. There's some. I'm wondering, like, is is there a person I need to talk to? Like, three words, no edit clause. Oh, why are you yelling at the little robot? He's crying. Hold on. I just want to double check. There's a lot of people to talk to. There's a lot of people to talk to. That's just a fact, but I gotta see. Where's that dog? Is there like a? I'm just trying to figure out where I gotta go right now. You're the one who gets my attention. <laughs> you see Ed's lens. Oh no! It's submerged in the dog-shaped mound of goo. The goose tail wags. It is a dog, sentient Uzi glop dog. The name tag in the car says Puff Piece. <laughs> I love that. Pet puff piece. Good dog. Pull out the lens. Good dog. Puff's tail wags, flinging tiny bits of goo around the room. Proud gurgle. <laughs> puff looks at you expectantly. Scritch. Scritch that head? I. Again, I want to assume a type of but also scritch. Is that just scratch behind the ears? Rub Puff's belly. It's for the belly. Puff rolls on their back as you scratch their belly. The lens floats up to the surface. Happy gurgle. You grab the piece. It drips with goo. Puff's tail wags gl gloppily. Uh, you've clearly made a friend. Oh, we got a friend. Look at little Puff. I love you, Puff. I got to go turn this into the guy you stole it from. Recycle bot. Nice to see you. All right. So there's that guy. Now, listen, listen. Well, again, you guys are seeing it after the fact. This came out first on YouTube, and then the YouTube... When we talked about this game on Twitch, we mentioned about everyone's like, I think people are going to shrimp for the characters in this game. And someone in chat said, this gentleman right here, the posh guy in the sweater vest, was in their eye. So, we know where he stands. Connor, your guy's right there. Pretty sure it was Connor. I might be lying to myself. Okay, hold on. I'll come back to you because I don't like you yelling at my robot friend. But I want to go to Ed and give him the, the thing. Oh, Ed, you were too lazy to look. You found it. Oh, thank you, Sprockets. I was so worried. Why is it covered in goo? I found it inside Puff Piece. Blech. Ah, oh, that dog's a, ro uh, a roving gelatinous menace. It's going to take me hours to properly clean this. But at least it's safe. Thanks for getting it back, Sprockets. I owe you one big time. Thanks, dude. Anyway, I gotta go. I'm gonna go beat this guy up for yelling at my robot friend. And then I guess I just... I don't really know what I'm doing. Like, what what I need to accomplish. Am I supposed to just talk to everyone? 
It's my job to fix writing errors, Mr. Gravity. Your column had 17 spelling mistakes and 15 common splices. Comma splices. I have my own style. Your style is to make mistakes? Are you kidding me with this? <laughs> yeah, you're programmed to edit news co- You're programmed to edit news, coffee pot. Facts. Opinion writing takes nuance. It has a voice. I could care less what you think about my stuff. Just keep your clammy hands off of it. I think you mean couldn't care less. Oh, get him. And who asked you, intern? That's just what we need around here. Two robots picking apart my perfect pro. Pros? Pros? Oh. Forget this. I have places to be. Thank you for interjecting. Well, not necessary. It is appreciated. Grammar and smelling is important. He can't talk to you like that. Yeah, that's what I want. Richard speaks to everyone in a similar manner. I believe he is what humans call a jerk. I interact with him the minimum amount necessary to do my job. Which is apparently still too much. I love his little, like, overalls and little tie. I love him. Copybot's my best friend. <sighs> welcome to the team, intern. You're welcome, friend. I guess I'm just going to go, like, I'm going to beeline it left. There's plenty of conversations to have. And if you guys want to check out the demo yourself, it's still on Steam. You can play it. I just want to try and do, like, the main, the golden path here. Oh, that's the toilet. Oh, I took a nice little potty break. Let me see. I sure hope for, like, the big guy. It's like a clunk, 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 clunk. Do... Oh, hello. You're cool. But I don't know if you're when I gotta go. Uh, oh, what are these? I got my shoes. There's a visor. and See, look. There's the fedora with the press hat I really wanted. I don't have it. So sad. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, I think I broke the game. Uh, be right back. No, I lost my progress. Ah, uh, dang it. Well. I guess we won't really see what the end of that looks like. <laughs> but uh, also, let me always keep in mind during Child Pair, these are the demo builds. They're not the final product. So anything that happens will most likely be fixed for the full release of the game. Just keep that in mind. Uh, but with that, I don't know if I have the strength to go through all once again. So I think that's where we're going to wrap it up for today. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This has been Times and Galaxy. If you're interested in picking up the game, it doesn't come out till 2024, but I highly recommend going and wishlisting it on Steam. They'll give you an update when the game releases. Uh, there's discounts on, et cetera, et cetera. And it also helps the game grow like a lot. The more people wishlist it, the algorithm says, oop. People are gonna like this one, show it to more people. Then more people see Times and Galaxy, more people buy it. And then usually I try to make it think that equals console ports. And listen, if I can get this on PlayStation for a little platinum, I think it'd be fun. And speaking of letting more people see the content, hey, how about you hit me with a thumbs up? That way more people get to see this video. And if it's your first time checking out the content and you want to stick around and see some more, do yourself a favor, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That would get notifications every time a new video comes out. And I'll see you guys next time.